Hey, I wanted to do a quick video today because I stumbled across something this afternoon which was quite helpful for me, so it might help some of you as well. Now, me and Sammy, we do a lot of filming. So does Miles with um, all of the products and the content that we're putting out at the moment. And what we found is we spend so much time with the HD camera, getting in the studio with the green screen and then editing in Final Cut Pro, making sure that the, the external microphone's linked in, making sure that everything's right before we upload a video. And a lot of the time we thought to ourselves, are people actually worried about the, the quality of the video? I mean, as long as it's good, as long as you can hear it okay, do we have to spend this much time creating each video? And what Sammy did last night is she created a video, which I'm going to show you now, and she created it on her iPhone. So this video here, and I'm only going to show you a few seconds of it on her new website. Hello and welcome to How to Build a Brand. That was created on an iPhone. Now, what I found is that when we had the iPhone on the, on the tripod, we couldn't see the screen because obviously the iPhone, we know it's got two cameras, but the camera that's on the back is better than the camera on the front. So I wanted some way to be able to see the screen, but obviously be able to record at the same time. And I come across this app called reflectorapp.com and I've just purchased it. And I'm gonna install it now and show you that once it's installed, and I'm just gonna paste in my, my code because I've literally just bought it as we speak. Okay, so now this is running. We can see that it says reflector here. If I go onto my iPad, and I appreciate you can't see this at the moment, but I'll show you it in two seconds. I'm just gonna do it first, and then I'll show you what I've done. So here, now you can actually see my iPad. And we can do this for the iPhone as well. I'll do it again in a minute for the iPhone as well. I don't actually know if we can run two apps simultaneously. I'm gonna try it now. Apparently you can. So there we go, we've got two apps now running simultaneously, so you can see my phone screen and my iPad screen. So I'm really loving this app at the moment, and the reason I'm loving it is because I can go into the camera now, and you can see, as I move the camera around, exactly what I'm filming at the moment. And we can set this up. See, we can set this up so this is actually filming us and we can watch it on the screen at the same time as it's filming us. So to me, I think this is a fantastic app. If you have tutorials to do on your iPhone or your iPad, if you want to show people things, it's really, really simple to do. So all you need to do, once you've installed the app, or once you've installed the app onto your iMac, then go onto your iPad or your iPhone, double tap the home button, so it'll bring up your menu. I'll do it on both at the same time so you can see it. If you scroll, so if you if you touch in the bottom toolbar and you scroll your finger across to the right, it'll give you this option. I don't know if many of you know about this, but you get these options. You need to do it twice on the phone. And what we're looking for is the AirPlay. The AirPlay is this here. So all you do with your finger is scroll across, click on this little button here, when you click on this, it will give you an option. Click iMac, because it's now going to be available on the iMac. And make sure you select mirroring. That's it, it's as simple as that. That's how you can bring up your screen of your iPad and your iPhone on your Mac.